Hey, what's up, Ovi Tribe? Thanks for joining me today. Today, we are going to be talking about how to hang one of our Storm Loft under quilts. Um, so this is a 15 degree under quilt right here. It's one that I pulled out of our employee section of the warehouse, which means it's been used. The uh, elastic on this may be all over, so we're gonna go through exactly how you would set this up and teach you how to get the sag right, how to make sure that it's gonna insulate you, put it on a diagonal, those types of things. So the first thing I do is I pull it out and I lay it in my hammock. Um, you'll notice that on our under quilts, there's going to be a tag on one end. That's gonna be your foot end. And then usually our logo is gonna be right there by it. So I'm gonna lay this. Um, in this scenario, I'm gonna put my feet on this side and go ahead and clip this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to one of the ends, show you how to clip it up. Okay, so on this end right here, we're gonna have two different adjustments and you're gonna have an S beaner. So if this came and was totally undone for whatever reason, what you're gonna see is that this is gonna come out of the side channel here. It's gonna loop up here or you're gonna to wanna to create a loop. You're gonna to wanna to clip this into your S beaner. And then after it comes through your S beaner, it's gonna come back and loop through this um, double barrel lock twice. It's gonna go in and then straight back out. That's gonna give you that resistance that you want. On this side, you're gonna do the same thing. Make sure it's coming out of there. You're gonna clip this end into that S beaner. And then all you're gonna do is simply pick a spot to clip this onto your hammock. Um, you could clip it right to the wire gate. Some people do. I like to clip it right to my Dyneema cord. Um, so now you've got that set. We'll go do that to the other side and then we'll start adjusting um, the sag on this hammock. Okay, so I went and clipped the other side so the under quilt is hanging. You'll notice it's kind of hedged to that side. Well, with our particular quilt, it actually can roam a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this under quilt to the area where I want it. And then you'll see um, our gap. So the first thing that I'm going to do personally is I'm gonna wanna kind of set the sag level of this, but you'll also notice that we have a second adjustment here on the end with this smaller cord. What that's gonna do is cinch up this end section where you've got the draft baffle. So personally, I like to snug this up just a little bit. Um, I know from previous experiences that it's gonna need a little bit of snugness there. Now you've essentially got everything set up on this. Now let's start setting the sag. And where I'm gonna to go to set that sag is I'm gonna go into the middle and then I'm gonna make my adjustments with this double barrel lock section here. If I want it to sit higher, I'm gonna pull that through, make it tighter. If I want it to sit lower, I'm gonna let that down. So let's go to the middle of the hammock here and I'll show you how, to, how I like to set my sag um, for baseline and then you can micro tune it from there. Okay, so I come to the middle of the hammock. If you've watched our mummy pod videos, it's very, very similar. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of toss the hammock out both sides. I'm gonna push my hand down in the hammock to where the hammock is, is tight. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my other hand, I'm gonna go between essentially the hammock and the top quilt. I'm gonna do that on this side. And I'm gonna make sure that top quilt, or excuse me, under quilt is touching my hand on the one side and the hammock is touching the other side of my hand. So essentially I've got under quilt here, hammock on this side. If you've got a gap, like, I, like the hammock's touching the top of my hand, but there's no under quilt on the other, you know you need to tighten it. Um, if it's overly tight too, you may see that, but with this much bungee cord, sometimes you can air a little bit on the slightly tighter side. So I know I've got it roughly in the right spot, so I'm gonna climb in, I'm gonna use this as my head side, and this is my foot side, so just sit in there. Okay, so I'm gonna kick my feet off to the side, and my head off to this side. I'll, I'll do it this way so you can still see me. So you can see right now, it's probably not lined up that well on me. Um, what's nice about these is you can just pull them to wherever you want. I'm gonna pull my shoulder inside here, I'm gonna reach down here, pull my foot so that that's around my foot end. You can see I'm on this diagonal. Now what I'm gonna wanna do to make sure that I've got this sag right, so I'm gonna reach my hand under here and I'm gonna try to feel for constant contact with the under quilt and the hammock so that I can feel that that under quilt is tightly connected to um, the hammock. One area you wanna look for is down by your feet end um, or your head end, those end points, I can already feel right here I've got a gap. And what that gap means is I know I didn't tighten that draft collar and I only have a gap right in the middle. So I'm gonna tighten up that draft collar, check it again. If tightening up that draft collar doesn't help, then I'm gonna raise the whole level of the hammock with the double barrel lock adjustment. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up just a little bit more. You can see that that snugged up there. And then I do feel like there's a little bit of sag in this, so I'm just gonna take this double barrel lock and just slightly snug that up. 
and I'm gonna balance the same adjustment on this side. So I only pulled a couple inches. That should be all we need. I'm gonna lay back down in this and make sure I've got good contact with the hammock and the underquilt. All right, so my feet, they're all set to go now. I did reach back up here and I can fill a slight gap between my head and the hammock. So I'm just gonna reach from right inside the, the hammock here. I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit more, fill again. All right, that draft tube and quilt is right firmly against my head and my shoulders. So this hammock is set to go. Now what's nice about this, like I said, is you can easily kind of adjust this around the hammock to lock it into the perfect position for you. Once you get it adjusted, it's not gonna migrate and move, um, but it is pretty easy to grab it and kind of pull it to where you need it and then it's gonna stay put. But simply put, that's how you're gonna set your hammock, or excuse me, your underquilt on your hammock and uh, keep your backside warm.